Hey there, everybody. So I'm going to start a series of videos where basically I'm going to explore uh, database integration into Unity. And I'm going to be using MySQL, uh, specifically a Maria database. And I'm for on my development system, I'm going to be installing XAMPP right here, which, hey, Google found it for me. And this is going to basically, this is a really easy, painless way to set up a web server and MySQL as well as some other stuff. Uh, it, that way, on my development environment, it's easy for me to turn them on and off. I don't have to go through setting up. Uh, I'm on Windows 10, so I don't have to set up IIS and install a whole bunch of other things. Later on, once we've got something developed that's ready for um, more strenuous testing, then we'll look into how do we migrate this to a cloud. For instance, PlayFab or GameSpark or... Uh, Microsoft Azure server or Amazon Web Services, which I think they're changing that to something else, or Google Cloud Platform, which as a Unity developer, their whole networking backend is being redone to work with Google Cloud Platform. So that's that that's a definite option to be looking into. But for early stages of development, I just want a MySQL database here on my local machine that I can get things set up, working, testing, and, and deal with that. Uh, so that way, when I'm ready to migrate, I can just move stuff over. We'll, we'll take a look at how to do that later on. Uh, so for right now, I'm going to go ahead and go to XAMPP and get this downloaded on my system. So I'm going to download the Windows version. And while that's downloading, uh, just a quick couple of things. So MySQL is a relational database management system, which what that means is that within each database, there are a collection of tables. And tables then have records, and records are comprised of individual fields. So I might have a user's table that's comprised of records that might have fields such as user ID, username, and password, as an example. Now that user ID is going to be what's referred to as a primary key. That is going to be a unique identifier for each record. Uh, you can think about student ID uh, if you've ever when you were in classes, or you can think about social security number if you're in the United States, or you know things like that. Uh, and you know, I'm kind of glossing over some of these things because you're free to uh, do some googling. Uh, if you're going to be in in Raleigh during East Coast Game Conference uh, 2020, this is basically what we're going to be going over during our our workshop uh, on on the summit day. There at ECGC. Uh, so, you know, just kind of a quick rundown. Uh, so, I've got this downloaded now. So, let's go ahead and start our install process. So, I'll hit yes and apparently wait longer than I think I should. Uh, yes, I will continue. Uh, what is this? Oh, yeah, I have antivirus. Yes, I will continue. Uh, I also have UAC. This is my school laptop. So, IT has this very well protected. Um, so yes, I'll hit okay on that. I'll go with next. Now, the only things I actually want from XAMPP are MySQL, PHP, and, uh, Apache web server. All the rest I don't care about. If you want to experiment with them and learn about them, you can. I'm, I just don't really care about them for what I'm doing. So I'm going to drop FileZilla, Mercury, Tomcat, Perl, Webalizer, and fake SendMail and go ahead and do a next. And I'm going to install these on... For me, I'm going to put these on my D drive because my C drive is a really itty bitty tiny solid state. Go ahead and no, I don't want to learn more. I'm good. Hit next and next. Okay, so this is installing. When it's done installing, I'm going to get a screen to uh, launch my um, control panel and I will meet you guys there. Okay, so we've got XAMPP installed. The control panel is trying to launch up. It wants to know language. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go with uh, English there, hit save, and here we are. We are in control panel. I'm going to go ahead and launch up my Apache web server. It'll take just a minute here, or a lot quicker than I expected, and it's going. Then I'm going to launch uh, MySQL. Now once MySQL is up and running, I'm going to go ahead and bring up its admin portal, which is PHP MyAdmin. It was one of the things that we opted to install. And from here, I'm going to do two things, three things. First, I'm going to create a, a, an account that is going to be used to access my database uh, from Unity. Then I'm going to create a database, and then I'm going to go ahead and create a, 
a what am I going to create? A table within that database. I don't know why I went blank. And actually, I'm going to do it a little bit reverse. So I'm going to start off by creating a database. So right up here in the top left, I'll just hit new. And this database name, I'm going to call this ECGC underscore demo. Uh, this collation right here, this Latin one, Swedish, uh, case insensitive, this is just how data is collated inside there. I'm going to go with a more commonly used one, which is UTF General CI. So I'll just hit this drop down UTF or UTF 8 General CI. It is UTF 8. Where are you? General is CI. There you are. Right? Yes. UTF. Not, I could do the MB4. That's not the one I was looking for, though. Uh, it's up here. UTF 8 General. Come on. General CI. There we go. And yeah. Awesome. That's all I want at the moment. Uh, so then I'll go ahead and create that. And now this is my database that I've created. And I'm going to go ahead and create a table with this. Now my first table, I only want uh, three columns, which is going to be the fields. And I'm going to call this uh, users. Kind of lame name, but that's what I'm going to go with. And this is going to be my table for, at the moment, for user authentication. Uh, so it's going to have a user ID number which is going to be their primary key, unique identifying thing. It's also going to have a username, which will also have to be unique, though it's not primary key, and it will have their password. And the password will eventually be stored as a hash, not as a plain text. Um, and then later on, you're kind of once, once we get some basic things going, then we can revisit this whole login process and look at Facebook authentication or Google Play authentication or you know authentication through those other systems and, and get that stuff working. But that's, oh, I want to start off with just a little basic thing, get, get the game going as a single player type basic experience, and then all right, not many features in it, but then start adding in more stuff. So I will hit go. And here is my table structure for my user's table. And if I wanted to add more columns, I could enter a number here and select go, but I don't. So uh, for my first field here, I'm going to call this user ID. <laughs> uh, for my second field, I'm going to call this user name, no space on that, and password for my third one. All right. Uh, yes, it's going to be an integer on my user ID. My user name is going to be what's called a tiny text, which is a string that stores 256 characters. Uh, I don't think your username should be beyond that. Uh, tiny text is tiny blob. There's tiny text. And my password will also be a tiny text. That will be 256 characters. Tiny text. There we go. Length. Uh, so for my user ID, I'm going to be like, oh, man, I plan to have millions of players. So this is going to be a length of 20. Yeah. Uh, default. No, there's no default on any of that. And I'm also kind of considering the rest as I go down. And, and we could even you know, do a length here, on here, but I'm just going to let that be capped at the tiny text size there for the moment. Coll collation, yeah, that's fine. Attributes. So this is going to be, for my user ID, it's going to, I'm going to do an unsigned zero fill, which means it's going to put zeros in front. So if I have, since it's 20 digits, if I my first one is going to be a one, with 19 zeros in front of it. So that will be unsigned zero fill. Uh, can this be null? No, it cannot. Neither can username, neither can password. Okay, looks good. Uh, index, so th this is where I can do some things about this. Uh, so I can set this user ID, for instance, to be a primary key, which is exactly what I want it to be. I want it to be a primary key. Go, all right. Uh, username, as long as I'm here, I want it to be unique. Uh, let's go ahead and call this unique. Not that we have to, but let's do that. Go. Okay. Uh, my user ID is going to auto increment right there. I could add some comments if I want. I don't think I really want to. Looks good to me as a starting point. So let's hit save. All right. Now I could go ahead and enter some information in here if I wanted to. So I could go to insert right here and I could add some information into my database. I don't want to do that. I'm going to build stuff inside my uh, inside Unity 
that's going to start, that's going to add a user. Okay, so the last thing I want to do before we finish our initial setup here, let's over here in PHP My Admin, let's go home. And what I want to do over here is create a user. So I'm going to go to user accounts and I'm going to add a new user because I don't want to use root as, you know, accessing or anything like that. So I'm going to and also notice this is set up, you know, there's no password on these. You know, this is like, wow, this is, where do you even begin at terribleness? But this is just on my local test machine, so this is okay right now. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and add a user account. Boom. And because I'm feeling incredibly secure today, I'm going to call this user admin. Aha, yes. Uh, no, I'm going to call this user ECGC admin. <laughs> yeah. And my password. This is going to be password123. I mean, that is nobody's ever going to break into my database. That is so awesome. Uh, password123. Um, what privileges does this account have? It has the ability to select, insert, update, and delete in my tables. Um, I am not going to give this user the ability to create new tables or no, not going to do that. Uh, not administrative privileges over there either. Yeah, this will do for what, I'm, for what we're doing right now. This will do just fine. Uh, now, if I wanted a really super cool password, I could generate and get a really nice hashed password. I don't care. I'm going to go down here, hit go. Boom. So I've now got a new user. So go to our user accounts here and ECGC admin, as you can see, does have a password, can do those things. And we're ready to jump into Unity, uh, create a create account uh, scene and get some C sharp talking to some PHP and having some fun there. Uh, so that'll be in part two.